They're rather gorgeous looking. Zabroya Kozak Bullpup PCP air rifle. And lovely black stained wood finish. Brass trigger. Safety completely stops the trigger from moving. Got a nice biathlon style brass drop down cocking lever and uh, the rifle is decockable. I've just found that already. A slot screw to adjust the height of the cheek piece. So the action ends here. Kozak safe right now because the brass safety catch is slid back towards the trigger. We have the biathlon lever and just wanted to point out if I go to cock this the mag wouldn't rotate because it, the rifle is already cocked and you can see here if I angle the camera you can see here the sharp cogs at the back edge of the magazine and the rounded cogs at the front end and there's a pair of o-ring seals for uh, pellet retention we've got a 12 shot magazine and with those sharp bits at the back you can clearly feel which way around the magazine should be when you're using gloves at night the Kozak comes with a full instruction manual, all the accessories you need, two magazines, and note there's two fill probes, so with including spare O-rings, so you can attach this straight to a Forster connector, or you can use the other fill probe and screw it straight on the end of your hose. I must draw your attention to this note. Unlike most PCP air rifles, where you slowly crack the valve open, bleed the air into the rifle, up to the desired fill pressure, which is often, for example, with FX rifles, is less than the maximum fill pressure. But with the Kozak, you're supposed to crack the, the uh, valve open quickly, which basically prevents a non-return valve from locking. So you open the valve suddenly, but the rifle itself will fill slowly. The maximum fill pressure of the rifle is 300 bar, and your diver's bottle is never going to be more than 300 bar anyway. As always, I've got loads of extra photos accompanying this video review and my Airgun World article review, including photos of every page of this manual. They can be found in my Flickr album, which accompanies the whole review, and I've got a link to that in the description below. There's a Baroya manometer underneath the barrel at the end of the cylinder. Nice and clear. You can clearly see that you can read that from a heck of an angle. You don't have to be looking end on to the barrel to see it. Speaking of barrel, it looks like a shrouded barrel and yep we have a matte finish anodized thread protector and I do believe that's half inch UNF so nice compact slim moderator might do that just very nicely like the uh, Donny FL Koi or Tanto so there's a Breuer Kozak one mag fired JSB exact 177 which are 8.44 grain 4.52 millimeters one mag 11.49 foot pounds this is poetry 783 778 793 spread of 15 feet per second standard deviation of three and that's bearing in mind the legal limit with that weight of pellets is 799. So this is poetry. I just used the Don AFL Tanto moderator on 77-22 to do my uh, indoor chrono check. The Tanto was nice and quiet despite its tiny size. The only thing I just noticed is when I unscrewed it from the half inch UNF uh, muzzle adapter, the base of it here, the bit I'm tapping, did sort of uh, unscrew slightly. So if you're not planning to use this so much that it'll need regular cleaning, then it wouldn't hurt to do it, put a little dab of uh, Loctite or something on there. But very compact, very slim line and uh, a very, very effective moderator so far. I'm going to try this tonight and I'm also going to try its bigger brother, the Donny FL Koi which has, as you can see is two inches longer, same slimline design, very nice machining, very nice fluting on the outside of the uh, moderator bodies, very nice build quality, and I'll be testing the Koi and the Tanto outdoors tonight. Just about to use this handy local permission for a zeroing session and a trajectory zeroing session with the Hike Micro 
PQ50L thermal scope. Meanwhile, that far wall behind me is 36, 37 meters away. So I'm about to do a, now you see it, now you don't, except in reverse. So can you see the difference? Nope, not the trigger sticks. I'm now wearing, wearing if you like, my uh, rifle for the afternoon. It's a Broyer Kozak, very compact bullpup. And if I step slightly closer, you can see it's hands free and you can see I can move around freely. But I'll adjust the camera slightly. So, because this is a lone rifle, I'm not exactly going to uh, drill it and add sling swivel studs. So what I've done is add a soft webbing belt. If you saw a couple of my videos from the British Shooting Show 2022 in February, you'll see I used a soft belt like this to wear the um, MX Arms Cayman around my neck. So this basically allows me to walk it's a little bit of weight around my neck, but this is quite a light rifle and it's got a light scope on it. So I can wear the rifle around my neck, walk around using the trigger sticks as a crutch and bring it into the aim when need be. So and as you can see, nothing's easy when you're on crutches negotiating this lot but I'm not expecting to shoot any pests this afternoon I have phoned 101 I've let the police know where I am as usual all my details uh, it's especially because it's daylight and if somebody even though I'm on farm property I've got permission I've got shooting insurance etc if any member of the public happen to spot me for example getting the rifle out or putting it back in then uh, we don't want any grief so call 101 before and after anyway so I'm especially here to zero the excellent Height Micro PQ50L. I've got it zeroed at 30 meters, so I'm gonna do a zero check. There's a target here at about 30 meters. I'll do a zero check, and then I'm gonna move the target further back to 35. And you can see I've got the adjustable cheek piece up ever so slightly on the Kozak, uh, but what a neat rifle. And thanks to Rob of Pickering Guns, North Yorkshire, for the loan of the rifle for the review for the YouTube and the magazine. Superb rifle, really is. It's so cool as a reviewer when I get a rifle out of the box, check the pressure, I put a mag of pellets through it, that's 12 shots, and the average power is 11.49 foot-pounds. No shots went too close to the legal limit, superb. If I had the money, I'd be buying it. Any uh, rubbish grouping is definitely down to me. I'm not entirely relaxed in this position. I'm a little bit hunched. Mm, maybe a smidge in high. Mike Micro PQ50L thermal scope sadly doesn't record sound, but here we have me first ranging the target at 30 meters. And then bar the second flyer, which was my, my mistake, putting four pellets in an area the size of a five pence piece at that range. Straight away, this is two pellets in virtually the same hole at 36 meters. Here's me tootling out to move the 30 meter backstop back out to 36 meters. While I'm doing so, rather than unnecessarily tilt the rifle back and forth, here you can see I've got it conveniently rested via the little impromptu neck sling on the trigger sticks and it's clear of the floor, so all safe and sound. I've moved the target out to, I think it's about 36 meters. You 
ignore the sound of my crutches falling over, occupational hazard. And because it's so in keeping with the rifle's contours, the chosen moderator today is the Donny FL uh, Tanto. Yeah, 36 meters. So I've just collared Davey here, uh, Dave Smiley, at the Garka range to ask him his opinion of the Zabroya Kozak. What do you reckon, Davey? It's quite a nice rifle. It's quite short, quite compact, um, good accuracy. Yeah. The only thing it kind of puts me off a bit is it's a bit far back for caulking. Right. But apart from that, so it's if you quite a nice if you show rifle. me what you mean, put it, put it in your shoulder and show me what you mean. So. Well, if I'm, I've got it on my shoulder and I'm pulling back, I'm stretching back on my arm. Yeah. Yeah. Because it could be doing maybe a wee bit further forward, but yeah. apart from that, well, that, I think I think mechanically that's how they've saved the money to make this so affordable. Basically, yeah. they've avoided a, an elongated cocking link linkage. Mm -hmm. The well, stock's quite plain and basic, but it's, it feels okay. There's no checkering on it. That's the other thing. For yeah, a good grip in if, the if I if I had one of these, I think I'd put some skateboard tape on it yeah. to make it grippy. Apart from that, it's really quite accurate, actually. And it feels okay in the shoulder. Trigger feels okay. Yeah, it feels okay. Trigger's light enough. Safety's good on it as well. I quite like it, but the only thing is, I would like it maybe with safety caulking. Um, that kind of helps a wee bit. Automatic safety, you mean? Right. Yeah, just for safety. But apart from that, yeah, it's good. Okay. I cool. like it. Yeah. Thanks very much. So, you're this. You feel the same with it. The caulking lever is a little bit too far back for you. Correct. How does it feel shooting? Is it accurate enough? Yes. Actually, it's nice and compact. Yes. It's not too heavy. Uh, uh, it's just a, a coffee lever. Yeah. I like the safety. You like the safety, yeah? Yeah. Cool. So you've got 12 shot magazine, 177. Uh, I've done a full chrono check. And from 275 bar down to 95 bar, I got 12 magazines out of it before the velocity stop shot started dropping. So that's it's quite a small cylinder, but that's 144 shots at 11 and a half foot pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So, not. Would you reckon that's value for 550 quid? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. 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 Yes. Because yeah. there are some similar rifles that are three times that price. Mm -hmm. So, I'd say it comes across pretty good value yeah. myself. So you like it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. So what were you saying about the safety? It's nicely positioned. You can have, uh, do everything with one finger. Yeah, so with one finger you can nudge the safety off yeah. and nudge it back on again. Yeah. It's pretty quiet as well, yes. resettable. Yeah. So good for those of us who go after rabbits in the dark. Mm. Excellent. I think probably the safety is the nicest feature on this one. For right. me. Okay. Personally. Okay. For everybody is personal. So you're flicking it the biathlon lever with your thumb. I usually just flick it out with my thumb. And then cocking it with the back of your hand. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm shooting I'm shooting a short range one, so I'm about out of practice. Yeah. I'm also used to shooting the mill dot, so that's Ah uh, well I, I prefer the, the theoretical the clutter free, you know? So that's why I've got the T on there. Yeah. I've got a real mix and match. My competition guns have got the T's on you. Um, but for my hunting guns, got uh, just mill dots. Well, it's consistent. And the only downside of these mags is there's no indication when you've used all 12. And I, again, I've failed to count them. So, But you do have a, a second mag there loaded, ready to go if you want. All I'm after is your honest opinions on the rifle. You like? Yeah, the cheek piece over the eye piece. Ideally down. Um, 
after 30, just we can't it's slightly further over for the cheek because yeah. I, I, I just adjust it slightly over, that's just personal yeah. preference. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what you get for 550, you know? Same price as basic air arms. You don't get an air arms bullpup for that price? No, 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 I just need a standard one. Yeah. Have you got any pellets left, have you? I don't know, actually, to be honest. I might. No, You're that's out. you out. <laughs> Your thoughts, Graham? It's comfortable. It's slightly short on the floor for my legging. Uh huh. Trigger's nice. It, that's a single stage trigger, isn't it? Um, not a single stage trigger. It's not got, a, it's not got much of a two stage, but. Yeah, let's just just slightly further over. Yeah. The crystal grip feels a wee bit blocky, but I can get used to that. Yeah. If, I, if this was my rifle, I think I'd put some skateboard tape on it to make it grippy. Yeah, it could be doing with Because I do most of my shooting with these gloves on, you know? Yeah. You've got big hands? Yeah. Yeah, so you'll find your... Yeah. 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 Okay. But if this had been around four years ago when I bought my uh, FX Wildcat, yeah. it's half the price. And apart from the cocking lever being a bit further back, it does the same job as a non-FAC FX Wildcat. You know what? It's light. A fraction of the weight of my uh, racks. Yeah. That going much at the back. It's, it's the same with all the bull pops. My my Vanix bull pops got a horrible um, hard edge there that you can put like a wooden, like a little wooden comb on. Yeah. Which is fine. Um, in general, I'll be setting my scope down about like I wouldn't have that second riser, so my scope would be down it closer just to get rid of some of that lob. Yeah. Um, it's quiet. It's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> so, good value for money anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, when you consider the price of some of this other stuff. Yeah. Hey, even a basic. Ear arms, yeah, a basic one's in what, 650? Anyway, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi there, everyone. So, this has been another fully impartial, unbiased, independent, honest rifle review. The excellent Zabroya Kozak. And I just measured the 330mm long barrel ends about here. So we've got a decent, nearly six inch um, air volume here, which is why it's so quiet. But <sighs> quiet safety, decockable, there's an anti double load. It's got the adjustable cheek piece. <sighs> For 550 quid, this is a heck of a bargain. Literally, if I'd if I got an email overnight saying I'd won five hundred quid on the lottery, I would contact the lovely Rob, who's been very patient from Pickering Guns in lending me this for the last two months. Sorry, Rob, and but I would I would be offering him to buy this because this is a great grab it out the box and go uh, compact rifle, very accurate out to sort of thirty thirty five meters, great for pest control. It's got all the adjustability you need and it's got the non-adjustability you need, i.e. out the box, 11 and a half foot pounds, didn't miss a beat throughout, 12, 13 magazines, so 144, 156 shots out of one charge of the 200cc cylinder. So yeah, fantastic. Just a shame I'm going to have to take off the PAR LRF now, box this up return it to Rob with my thanks an absolute corker of a rifle and uh, I hope Ukraine recovers very quickly and I hope the Zabroya factory and all who work in it are safe and sound and uh, they keep doing their thing so thanks very much everyone thanks for watching So, quite warm in the loft today, 8.44 grain pellets, JSB exacts, 
one mag done. And just out of interest, 12 shots, 11.48. End of first mag. And the second mag. Start a third mag. So thirty six shots, eleven point four, seven eighty one. Fantastic consistency. Start of mag four. End of mag four. Start of mag five. Start of mag six. Start of mag seven. End of mag seven. Start of mag eight. End of mag eight. Start of mag nine. Start of mag ten. End of mag ten. Mag eleven. Into Mag eleven. Start of Mag twelve. Oh, that was a dud shot. Another one that Mag didn't revolve that time. This is the only hiccup I've had with the Zabroya Kozak, which has been otherwise flawless throughout, is that once or twice in a couple of weeks, the mag failed to revolve. Um, so I fired a blank shot, 
but the anti-double load feature works perfectly. So until you've discharged a shot, the mag will not index and rotate ready for the next shot. So just a one-off, I guess. That's 144. 11.33 Down to mag 13 Must be nearly done now So, 156 shots Average has dropped slightly, but still 777. That's so impressive. 753 to 794. Spreads in, increased to 41. So I'm going to stop the chrono check there because it's clearly reached the reg pressure. And that's that impressive performance. 156 shots and the average is 777 feet per second, which was always the golden figure for my old FX Wildcat, not FAC 177. Bear in mind, with 8.44 grain, 4.52 millimeter, JSB exacts, the legal limit is 799 feet per second. 800 feet per second is FAC. So, very, very impressive regulated action. Superb rifle.